Okay, so the first ad hoc command that we're going to use is the add user command. So let's flip over to the terminal and then we'll just type up the command and then I'll come back to this documentation that you can see here, which is the manage users account. It's the user module. We're going to use this on the command prompt and then we'll have a look at some of the flags that can be provided. But first, we'll demo this module in use. Okay, so we're going to start with the Ansible command here in our terminal. We're going to give it our inventory, remember, inventory.ini. We created that in previous video. We're going to log in as the root user because, of course, we're using DigitalOcean, so that's how we have to do this for now. And what else we have to do? Well, we have to specify the module we want to use, which is the user module, and then we need to provide the arguments and then of course the servers that we want to target so we'll come back to the arguments in a second for now I'm just going to put all on the end so that it accesses all of our servers and in the arguments here's what we're going to do we're going to say name equals and we're going to say Michael C okay I'm going to do state equals present let's see if that works so we're now telling the user module we're giving the user module the flags name and state with the values Michael C and present. And now we're going to go and talk to all three servers and add that user to all three servers. And there you go, done. So as you can see, it's logged into each system within DigitalOcean. And it's done many things here. So let's have a look at what we can see here. We can see changed true. We can see create home true and it's created the home here. We can see it's created um, slash home slash Michael C. We've got our shell, uh, we're present on the system, and we're, we're not a system account, okay? And we've got ourselves a UID as well. And so and so, what we can do, if we run this command again, this is where the idempotent nature of Ansible comes in, which means that it won't recreate the users, nor will it destroy them or create them again. In fact, what it says here is that changed is now false, whereas previously, changed was true, okay? But what we will actually do is we met, we will now actually say that we want them to be considered absent. That's the state that we want. And so this is Ansible now going into the systems and actually removing that user from the systems. That was clearing and undoing all of our work. And that is a very simple ad hoc command using the user module.